What's going on, friends? I'm out here at Nettie's Visa Service. Before I got my student visa, this is who I use to get my 30-day extensions. This is also who I use to get my student visa. You can also take Thai classes here, whether in person or online. She can help you with a work permit. She can help you with a marriage visa. If Hello. you need help, Miss Nettie can help you. Oh, thank you so much. All right. What do you do at your visa agency, Nettie? Tell us. Uh, for I do every kind of, I do for uh, every kind of visa, yeah. Education visa? Yeah, education visa. 30 day extension? Permit. Yes. Work permit? Work permit. Also mainly visa, family visa, right? Marriage visa, yeah, take family home, visa? Yeah, take care of you. Y'all see all these people here. Me, Tobias, Aaron, and one other person. We skipped all that. Skipped the whole line, went straight through, did what we had to do, we're done. I think I was here for a total of so. about two minutes. Yeah, I mean, it's so nice. She's like, gave me my card, go inside, go in front, finish. Done. Hit Some people phone. don't want to pay the extra money. In my opinion, I don't want to have to deal with paperwork. I don't want to have to deal with this. Man, here, take my money so I don't have to deal with any of it. I can get in and out of here. Daddy's Visa Service. I'll leave the link in the description box below. My bike took me for a ride today. <laughs> Following too close, wasn't paying attention. I nicked my buddy's wheel and <laughs> over I went. Ended up in these bushes over here. Weasel in the bushes for real. <laughs> I flipped over the handlebars, landed on my head. I think a stick must have gashed me up, but I'll be all right. My handlebars are twisted up pretty bad and I can't straighten them out. So they went to get the car, they'll come back, bring me back to the shop, my motorbike, and then I'll just stop at a clinic and have them gauze this up, clean it out. We back at it. Good morning, friends. It is a dreary Sunday morning here in Pattaya. I am on Tepesit Road, right on the corner of Soy 11. It's a coffee house here called O'Shore. I decided to come out here and check them out. Y'all know what time it is. Get some coffee. Coffee, yeah. Maybe a couple eggs and some bacon and some toast. Read my book for a little bit. Relax. This coffee house seems to be quiet inside. Now, I say quiet in the sense that there's not a lot of people in there, but you get a lot of road noise because Tepesit is super busy. I kind of like when cafes don't have a lot of people in there because I don't like to be bothered with chitter chatter. I can deal with road noise and I can deal with a little bit of background music. What I don't like is to hear 17 different conversations going on in my ear while I'm trying to read my book. I like to find spots that are a little quiet. Anyway, enough of my yakking. Let's go in here and see what these young ladies are doing. So by D mind. Morning. How are you? Okay. Konchu or I? Ip. Ip. Oh, Phil. Phil. Chai. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Where you come from? America. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's check this menu out. Man, that looks good. I had to go get my phone because the GoPro, for some reason, doesn't take really good close shots of food. Anything that's really close, GoPro, I don't think does a really good job at that. So. A lot of times in my videos, if you see close-up shots, they're done with my phone. Uh, good morning. There's a breakfast croissant right here that looks great. It's got boiled egg and it looks like some bologna, cheese, lettuce. It looks really good. This is the menu that I seen when I looked on Google Maps. Kind of like a a la carte thing. I was gonna get the croissant, but then this young lady over here, she had some eggs and toast. It looks really good, so I just went off the a la carte menu. Got a couple eggs, some bacon, toast, butter, and a coffee. So much for there not being a lot of people in here. It's packed in here now. You too. Yeah, Pattaya, Jump in, Bangkok, wherever. Wherever there's an event, I try to go. Say what now? <laughs> Closed every Monday. Yeah. Okay. We not move everywhere. We just stay there. Oh. Okay. You don't pick up the building and move it anywhere. No. Just stay here. You gotta talk loud as hell because you got this group right here that's loud, very loud. Are they here all the time? Every day. They're here every day. Repeat customer. Maybe next time I come, I come later in the day. Yeah. Okay, see you next time now. See you next time. Thank you. Have a nice day. Do the same. What's going on, friends? 
I was craving some pizza. Cause I'm a fat boy. So I came out here to the pizza company, John T and Beach Road. Pizza's really good here. I got a medium pan double pepperoni. I've passed by this place plenty of times and I've never stopped. Little Cutie was with me the other day and she was like, we should get it from there. And I'm like, eh, I don't really know. Whatever, I'll try it. It's freaking good. Their pan pizza, I think is just as good, maybe even better than Pizza Hut. Of course, I got Big Bro with me. He's high, so you can't really pay him any attention. He had a cookie and some mushrooms and a drink. I'm starving. Last thing I ate was breakfast this morning at Oh Shore, and I've been in the house editing the bikini beach race all day for the second time, because like an idiot, I somehow managed to finish editing the video, uploading it, and then realized I didn't put my final Weasels in the Bushes end screen. So I pulled it back into the editing software to fix that. And somehow I deleted the entire file. How that happened, don't ask me. But I had to spend pretty much all day redoing that four minute video. You messaged I, me, you're like, I was so I mad, bro. Dude, to I was so mad. It was one of those things where I was mad, but at the same time, it was kind of comical. So it's just like, whatever. All right, y'all, we're going to get that grub on. Holla at you. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on, friends? It's a dreary Monday morning, but I decided to get this one up. Say, come on, let's go for a walk. She said, no, it's my day off. I want to sleep. I said, get up. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Uh, she did. I said, come on, let's go for a walk. She said, okay, come on. And she got right out the bed. We're gonna walk from Walking Street to I don't know where, and then turn around and go back. Go home, take a shower, get cleaned up, and we'll head out toward Northern Pasaya for lunch. What's going on there, friends? I'm over here at Pattaya Avenue. I put a little clip of this salon in one of my videos and somebody commented and said, hey, that salon is actually really good. Yeah, you pay a little bit more money, but they provide a really good service. So my toenails need to be clipped. So I think I'm gonna go over here to this salon and see if I can get a pedicure. Can I do pedicure, Tyrai? Pedicure 600 bucks. 600 bucks. Okay. So I did cop. You remember me? Yeah, yeah I, the footage that I took that day, I put it on my channel and someone tell me I should come back here. They say you do a good job. You big boss. Control mm. <laughs> right. Mo. Mo. My name is Mo. Mo. All right. Mo. It's going to take care of my pedicure today. <laughs> Don't cut my toes off, Mo. Cut yeah. No. <laughs> what is that? for clean skin, dry skin. Oh, okay. Yeah, you do a good job and then I tell everybody on YouTube and then they come back to see you. They say, where's Mook? I need Mook to do my pedicure. I got a callus on the side of my foot. She's working that out. I think the tool that she had actually has a razor blade in it. And she uses that tool there, I believe, to kind of buff it out, sand it down. I think it just gets rid of the dead skin and your calluses and smooths everything out. All right, that took about an hour and it was 600 baht and I tipped her another 150 baht. Pattaya, Pattaya. We ain't love you, mama. <laughs> <laughs> Who Ying is lady. Yeah. Love you. My, my, very much. She's paying for a boat ride. I have no money now. Nah. <laughs> See you next time now. Nah. What's going on, friends? I come through this busy intersection almost every day on my way to Jom Tien to get a massage or if I'm going to Rompo Market to get some food to stuff my fat face. Because I'm a fat boy. And I pass by this place right here called Sugar Hut never even really paid attention to the sign until my buddy Frankie told me one day, hey bro, there's a place that plays jazz called the Sugar Hut. Then one day I was driving past here and I happened to notice that sign. I was like, oh, that's where Frankie was talking about. If you notice on the sign, it says that the Sugar Hut is a resort and a restaurant. So I was like, what is this jazz thing that he's talking about? Well, you just turn down this driveway and then make your first right into the gravel driveway and you'll see a spot over here. It's called the Jazz Pit. And that's where Pretty Little Lady brought me today. Is this your establishment? No, no, no. I'm just play. Uh, just play here a lot. Okay. And you all do live music every night, or got the program there. They have Facebook and Instagram. I'll leave those links in the description box below. And they play every day. Thank you, Thomas. 
Look forward to it. That was a nice, chill, relaxed spot. What was the name of the dish you had to eat? Fried mint with the eggplant. And we had some Roman Coke. Just sat there and chilled out for a little bit. Yeah, we was up there the whole time trying to figure out what the heck was going on with the bill. And then finally the lady came back and was like, yeah, he paid it already. <laughs> Appreciate you, bro.